What's up, y'all? It's me, Turian Goddess, coming in with a quick message. Y'all already know what I'm coming to do. I'm coming to bring the actual factuals. Get you hip to what you hip to, or hip you on to what may be hidden. I'm here to inspire you to use your intuition, your God-given built-in GPS system. Tap in and raise your antennas to the heavens. Stay up out of karmic's way and get on your destined path. Yes, as delightful as it is, you know, that we want to um, help those who um, unfortunately cannot help themselves. What about helping you right now is what I just heard. These people can help themselves, you know, but since you are there lending this hand, they are, um, you know, abusing, um, taking your kindness for weakness, right? Somebody may have just had some sort of um, short-term illness is what I'm hearing. Get well soon. Get well soon um, or this will be happening. And what is this here? Deception. Hmm. Um. Yeah, it's it's some deception. All right, it's some deception. This person, they're well enough to take care of themselves, right? I feel as though you were called to come and um take care of someone, right? They they sacrificing you because they don't need your help. They, mm, mm, they don't need your help, is what the G said. They breadcrumbing you. See, this person, they know that you come through, you clean, you taking care of everything that needs to be taken care of in your household, and you manage to um do that in other households as well, right? You're, you're very forthcoming when it comes to um, being of emotional support. Um, especially when people are ailing, you, you're like the nurse, you know, you're the person that everyone, um, turns to when they need some TLC, some tender loving care. They might be trying to get you on up out of your home so they can burglarize your shit is what the G said. Also, you know, it's something going on with this person's medical records, you know, like, I told you they really didn't need your help, right? It's a mystery as to what is going on with this person. One minute they have respiratory issues, maybe like some bronchial issues. Uh, they may have told you that they had lung cancer. They may have told you that they had some, you know, um, major medical um, difficulty, anomaly that needed to... Uh, be surgically removed and this is true but all it was not major it was something very small it was a small procedure make it make sense right make it make sense what's going on with this mystery right it's a mystery about what's going on with this person it's something i'm hearing um what they told you wasn't true. They're ashamed of it. They're ashamed of it. And then, I'm, you know, they may be getting trying to get you to come over so someone can run up in your home, burglarize your home, or set you up while they're there. But I'm also hearing that it's another storyline, y'all, that someone was burglarized in their home, right? They don't want to tell you that. They don't. They, they do not want to tell you that. And the minor surgery that they had was from... Um, someone harming them this is a message that may have not even happened yet you understand what i'm saying so make it make sense is what the jesus is saying make it make sense on what is it that the collective needs to know about this person that you are going to um go and take care of you know you're going to aid and abet them in their uh, time of need. This person has been raped. Someone is trying to um, keep that from you. And G's, the G said it's coming out in divine time and not a moment sooner. Um, this person is considered uh, short and petite, sexy, 
fun size. And like I said, the G said, this, this, this has yet to happen. This is a warning message, a warning message. You're be, you have been divinely guided to this message too. You hear me? You may be the leader in your household is what I'm hearing. Um, it's some closet mentality that's going on in this household. It could be a water sign involved. Um, somebody shooting blanks. Somebody shooting blanks. They are not telling you the actual factuals. It's a bunch of uh, deception about what went on on this vacation. Well, that will be going on on this vacation. It's a fucking shit brick road. Um, don't be arrogant when this person comes to you and tells you what happened. Because I feel as though, um, you know, with this weekend and everything that's been going on, uh, in communities, a lot of communities, east, west, north, south of this United States of America, as united as we can be, you understand what I'm saying? It, you're going to have to, um, you're, you can't tell this person I told you so. You can't. You can't tell this person I told you so. Um, they're not going to even have um, the faculties set up at that time anyway because this person is under... Um, a narcotic drug and also I heard narcotic drug and also this cocaine addiction. This person is going to be taking some prescribed medications as well as, um, you know, dealing with this cocaine. Um, a cocaine addict. A cocaine addict, I'm hearing, um... You're, you will be traveling with on the interstate, okay? This person, I don't know what's up with this fucking person. Either you're on your way on a vacation or you're coming back from a vacation. You're in route, packing, whatever the case may be, but these people that you're traveling with, um, you know, it's like, a, it's, it's like a arrogance that these people have about them. Plain and simple. It's like it's a, de a deceptive air. And the G's want you to have some doubt even before you hop on this mission on this interstate. It's it's more than one of them who, who will be traveling with you. And I feel as though they all calling you at different times of the day trying to see if you're going to gonna go on and ride shotgun with them. But that, that inner voice that you have, you understand what I'm saying? That inner voice, the, the energy is off, right? It is. The energy is off. I don't know if it's the place that you're going to, the people that you will be um, riding with. But don't, don't let your, don't let ego and arrogance lead you. Let your GPS system lead you. That inner voice. Your intuition. Somebody is a pet lover, you or these people that you're riding with. One of them not really an animal lover, though. It's, it's a few of them, and you've been rocking with them for a while. Um, But they show up some chameleons. They some chameleons, and they over the top. They're some flamboyant men or women. Um, And it's like, whenever you get with these people, they... They always change your mind. They manage. It's like they gang up on you, and they and whatever it is that you gung ho on doing, you know they rearrange that shit. The G said, you know, it's it's, it's a lot that you gotta let go concerning these people, and it's it's time for you to do it now. And ain't no time like the present. Do some self introspection. It's a lot of illusions with these people that you fucking with. Period. Um, <clears throat> a lot of them. You know what I'm saying. They dress well. Uh, these people who you will be with, they dress well. Um, but it's something you're supposed to be stopping with them. Uh, I feel like you outdo them a lot. You outdo them where they feel like you outdo them. They, it's like these people want to, you know, kind of like wait and embarrass you and shit. Because, you know, you you bring a different type of energy to any party. And it's, it's an everlasting energy. It lingers. It, it, it lingers, is what I just heard. Um, dreams. These dreams you've been having. The G said, tap into the, to that dream world when it comes to these people. 
because you're dealing with somebody, you riding with somebody who filed, um, you riding with somebody who filed, and I feel like this person, you know what I'm saying, don't, don't like that you are on your destined path, they don't, um, they don't like that you on your destined path, that you got all your ducks in a row, that you're, you got, uh, you're managing your time properly, your 24 hours of the day, you managing your time properly, you know, you, you could be going with your, your siblings, a best friend. You got a lot of love for these people, um, but they, they in this karmic energy, especially when it, it's concerning you. It's because you, I, I heard that you, you a change maker a lot. You know, you, you can have a, a bad day and then you, you, you stop that. You stop those thoughts that be um, running rampant through your head, right? Mm -hmm. You stop those thoughts that be running rampant through your head, and um, you replace them with some positive affirmations, and you speak positivity over yourself and over your days, right? You try to put that out into the universe as well. Um, these people like to see you stuck, and I feel as though you're gonna be bored with them because y'all not y'all don't have the same interest anymore. Is what the Jesus saying? Y'all don't have the same interest anymore. Um, somebody a little irritated too. It could be you. Somebody gonna be at this wherever this destination is. It's gonna be some bad news. Somebody gonna try to play you. Yeah, somebody gonna try to play you. The G's don't really want you to go. Um, you traveling with men or you traveling with women, regardless of the situation. Um, it's one. Could be the driver, it could be the one who will be sitting in back of you, um, who really wants some staying power with you. This person wants um, a same sex relationship with you, they want to have some sexual relations with you on this trip, is what the G said. Um, your angels are kind of setting up this doubt in you. To let you know that it's going that you will be going the wrong way. They want you to use some wisdom, your third eye. Is this a prosperous move? Are you gonna have to replenish your, your bank, you know, going here? Or are you gonna have to replenish yourself with these people, these karmic energies? Um, you don't wanna contract any of these energies that these people have. And also, whoever these people are, this person, this this person who is of the same gender as you who wants to um, have some sexual relations with you. The G said it is advisable for you to keep it tucked. You know, use this um, weekend um, to purify your genitals, is what the G said. Don't give it to nobody. Simon said stop. 